What is going on guys, BCD here, and today I just want to bring you a quick video, uh, basically show you my automated house and setting up some of that stuff, and I'm just going to go over what's automated, what's not, how I got it automated, and some cool things that you can do with it. But that's coming up right after this, my small commercial breaks, that's what I'm doing, call them small commercial breaks. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. So, um, I was basically with the products I bought. I'm going to be introducing those. I did most of this on a budget. Um, I ended up picking up a new ambient uh, generation three light and light strip on Amazon Prime Day, as well as two additional normal Philips lights uh, for a grand total of $118.42, minus $10 for a Discover coupon. Um, so, end up coming to be about $108 was my total and I was looking at it from the aspect that it was worth it because of the price um, so my setup in apartment is not that big of course so the setup and cost will vary but depending on your type of setup uh, but when it comes to the grand scale of things this is a luxury item not a necessity which is why I included the price I don't think being able to control your lights on the fly is such a huge deal but is it cool yes I uh, just want you guys to always keep that in mind when you're doing your shopping. So the two necessities that I feel like are uh, needed and are necessary are the colorful hue light strip and a color ambience light. So the ones I just picked up, those are the ones that are most effective when it comes to you know, changing the mood or changing the actual setting of an area. I put it for my living room, of course. But if you want to get super fancy, um, the Philips Hue Go Color can be really cool as well. Um, it's it's out of the you know my threshold of payment because I really don't want to pay that much. But it is a cool one that's just portable. You can hit put it anywhere. It's 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 really cool to just have that extra small aesthetic on the end. Uh, so how did I complete my setup? I started out with figuring out what would be the most effective location to place the light strip uh, without it being intrusive on my home and the aesthetic of the apartment. So I decided to go above the patio blinds due to it being able to cover most of the ground and give the living room an entire new look. I decided against behind the TV just due to the lack of wanting to cut the strips and lose some of the product. I know there are some people out there that's been able to you know, get the best out of all the strips even after cutting it. But I don't got time for that, so I just went with a simpler option, which is, in my opinion, still looks great. But if you have time and patience, you can check out some of those videos. Lastly, you'll want the other lamp or light to be on the opposite side of the room to get the full effect corner to corner. I went with the lamp near my entrance, entrance to get the surrounding background areas. This helped with filling the rest of the room, which is great being on the budget. I was very conscious of the placement so I can get the best effect. Um... For the remainder of the lights, I placed those in the hallway, the dining area, entrance, and bedroom, filling out the remainder of the automation. Overall, it was a pretty simple process. Um, remember, if you, you still need a bridge to connect these products, and I will leave a link to all the products that I have in the comment section below, everything I bought that's automated. I, su I suggest springing for the starter kit, which comes with the bridge, and uh, shop around for the remainder of the product. Try to get some good deals. Don't just go out there and you know buy suggested price. I recommend going in and setting up a few scenes at first to get accustomed to the app and how it works. It took me a minute to figure out the grouping, but yeah, it's just not the best app. It, I use the official app um, because it's just it gets what I need to get done. Um, but yeah, it's, it is really trash. You're much better off just having every light in your house in one scene and then setting up multiple sub scenes to control each light or area individually. The biggest problem is that it doesn't allow to move the light from room to room. Basically, you can't move it from room to room after you set it in one room. So it causes issues when you're actually trying to set up like the dining room, living room, you know, entrance. So um, I have heard that there are some better apps out there that work better. I just haven't personally used them, so I don't have any recommendations for today. Outside of that, I also like the Hue Sync Entertainment function. So these are going into some of the functionality and stuff you can get out of it. Um, the entertainment, they call it the Hue Sync in the, within the app. As of now, you can only use it for like PCs or laptops, but what it does allow 
is for you to link the sound with your lights. Uh, so it changes the surrounding area as the video plays. And how I actually get it to show on my television is I start the function on my PC and within Google Chrome, I actually cast my entire browser to my Chromecast that's in my TV. And you can essentially figure it out from there, whether it be like anime, YouTube videos, um, movies, you can cast anything. So it's a cool effect, but pretty much with anything in life, it comes with an asterisk. It does have a, a huge latency problem. It's not that the Chromecast is actually causing the issue, but it's actually how they pull the sound and pull that it's like the latency of it of how they try to listen for it um, it tries to listen for the sound then reflect the change and that latency really does show up in the video when you're looking at it you should you should be able to tell what that is um, I only work within the realm of what the Philips have to offer in regards to their solutions uh, so when it comes to that stuff but I heard there are better options out there I just haven't tried them uh, now, with setting up the Hue Entertainment Lights, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to go first within Philips Setup. You set up a play area, or it's called the entertainment area within the app. You then download Hue Sync on your PC. Sign into your profile, and your entertainment area should be there. Um, and then once you have that, you can set up how it functions and where the lighting is placed. Um, I set it up for where my TV was, not where my PC was, so I can get a little better syncage. Um, but that was pretty much my solution for the time being. Um, I'm going to do some more research and I'm obviously going to make a dedicated video for it just to, you know, give you better options, tips and tricks on the automation, how it works and what would be the best solutions for those in place. But outside of that, that is pretty much it. Um, I really do enjoy it. Just a recap of everything. I enjoy what I was able to purchase for the amount of money I spent. Um, it really didn't come at like a huge cost to me. And I felt like that automated, it's not like something necessary. It's a luxury, of course, but you know, it's nice to have that type of automation within your home and be able to turn on, turn off lights, get, change the mood, change the setting when you watch watching movies, things like that. So with just two of those things, I was able to get them, change the mood um, effectively within the living room. So that's what I was out to do. That's what I achieved in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, how your automated system is coming along, whether or not you're having issues. Um, ask me any questions you have. I'll be more than happy to answer anything that I can. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friend. And scene. Ooh. I didn't say um or anything. <laughs>